Salute to the MABW team. I'm back with another video. Before I even get into this video, ladies, let me have a quick, uh, let me put you in a scenario real quick, okay? You're a grown ass woman. You have a child. Preferably, you have a son. You've been celibate for about six months. You haven't had any sex. Are you going to come onto the internet and state to everyone across social media that you need some D I C K? I want to know that first before I get into this video. As a grown woman, is that something that you state over the internet when you have a son and you are grown? Is that something you would do? And are you promoting yourself out there? Are you doing that because you would want men to come in the comment section and say that they will give you some D? What do you think, ladies? I want to know right now. Okay. This lady right here, she needs some she needs some loving. And she's getting on the internet stating why she needs it. And it's because she's been celibate for six months. Now, by all means, anybody that has been celibate for a long time, of course you would get that urge. But that doesn't mean you have to come on the internet to state that. And anybody that's grown that think this is okay to state that you need some sex over the internet, over the World Wide Web, you're delusional and something is wrong with you. But you know what? Not going to talk anymore. Let's get right into the damn video. I need some I've been celibate. I've been celibate for fucking six months. I've been celibate. And I'm dying. I'm itching. And I can't take it anymore. In my head. My head. It keeps thinking about it. I need some sick. But I don't got no man. I don't want nobody to touch me. I don't want nobody to touch me. What do I do? I need help. My dog came running in here because he like, bitch, you going crazy. No, it's in my head. I said, I have to record this. I have to pull my phone out because this is what I'm hearing right now. I swear to God, on my life, on my soul, on my soul. <laughs> we said on my soul. <laughs> Oh my soul, oh my soul. But uh, no, I'm not listening to the devil. That's the devil. That's the devil. The devil is telling me to call somebody and I will not. I will sit my ass, let me lay that down. Get thee behind me, Satan. Get the fuck thee behind me and leave me the fuck alone, Satan. Satan, stop. Uh I'm gonna stop it right here real quick, okay? And I know y'all see that ring on her finger. She's not married. Just want to let y'all know that, okay? But anyways, you're talking about that you don't want to have sex with just anybody, but you're promoting it over social media so just anybody can see it. Now, guys, correct me if I'm wrong, okay? Please, please do. When most went, excuse me, when most men, especially licks, simps, when most of those type of men see something like this in this nature, what this lady is doing right here, aren't they going to come in her comment section and, and state that they will give her some? Aren't they going to be probably hitting her up in her DM, emailing her, saying something to her? I'm just being, let's be real here for one minute. Let's be honest, everybody out in the audience. Aren't there going to be men? She says she does. She states that she does. She just doesn't want to have sex with anybody. But aren't men that are watching worldwide just anybody? She's stating this to be let it known that she wants sex. But there's gonna be a bunch of men jumping in here that she doesn't know. This is something you shouldn't promote as a lady. That's just my opinion. Some women out there may feel different. Some men out there may feel different. But. I definitely think she shouldn't be doing this. And she has showed her son on social media before. 
I don't think her son will like that his mother is coming online talking about she needs some dick. Now, let's be honest. Guys, could you imagine if the internet was possibly during the time our mothers was born and we go back on the internet and see when our mothers was, was growing up that she was on the internet or online talking about she needs some dick? Let's be real. Exactly. It's all I think about. It's been six months. It's been six months that I've been celibate. I've been celibate for six months. And I want to be celibate for a year. Let's see if I can make it to a year. I'm tired of this. I'm tired. I'm so tired, though. I'm not going to. Why not just be celibate? I, listen, I'm just asking a question. To my audience out there, if she's celibate, she's been celibate for six months. She states that she's trying to make it to a year. So you're going to make it to that year and just give it up to anybody? You're going to let somebody bust you down after you've held out for a year? Who's the special person that you're going to let bust you down if you've waited for a year? Why don't you just wait until the right person comes along and just keep yourself celibate until that time happens? Because I see no purpose in doing it for six months. I mean, I see a purpose in doing it, but why only if you if you made it to six months and then you make it to a year, why get bust down within a year um, after that year? That's just a waste of time to me. You saved yourself, kept it on lockdown that whole time. You might as well wait until the right person comes along. A lot. I'm so tired. I kind of telling myself, why am I even doing this? Why am I even doing this? What's the big woof? What's the big zip? Why so I could be proper? Who give a fuck about being proper? I really don't give a fuck about being proper. But you know what? It's about the discipline. That's what it's about, Trap. It's about the discipline, okay? Because the truth is, I can hit up about who the, whoever the fuck I want to hit up if I want to. That's the truth. But I'm not. But I got to figure out how to stop hearing these voices in my head. Every See, something something like that that she's saying right now, you sound like you're a slide. For those of y'all that don't know what a slide is, she sounds like she has smut type vibes. I'm not saying she is a smut, but saying something like that as a grown woman over the internet, it gives off smut type vibes. Like, w w why would... I mean, I guess it can be something, but in reality, why would a grown woman want to come online talking about the black book she has and how many different dudes she could call if she wants to slide up in her? Wouldn't you want to dedicate yourself to one guy, possibly two the most? Like, let's be real here. This is nothing she should be over the internet talking about. But you're going to get some people, possibly men, possibly women that may agree with her. And I'm just saying it because we're on a level as adults here. We're not children. And I always say that what you, I, I state that what you put on the internet, you can't take it back. We all know that this lady is well into her thirties, probably high thirties. She doesn't look, I'm not saying she looks bad. I'm not going to sit up here and say that, but we do know that she's above 30. She looks above 30. And she's over the internet talking like this. Every day it just goes and says, I need something. I swear I'm so quiet. I could just be in your presence. And that's just what's going to be going through my head. And I don't, I have to turn it off. I need something. That's all it keeps saying in my head. I swear to God. I swear to God. I kid you not. Help me. Let's stop the damn video right there. Guys, if you've seen a lady coming online talking about she needs some penis, would you offer it to her? Would you slide up in her DM? Be real. Y'all can be real, fellas. If a girl came online talking about that, would you slide up in her messaging section and tell her, listen, I'm available. I can bring that right on over to you. Just want y'all opinion on this. To the grown woman out there. You're celibate for six months. You're trying to go to a year. 
would you be coming online as a grown ass lady talking about you need some D-I-C-K? Y'all let me know in the comment section. Anyways, that's my video for today. If you like the video, of course, comment, like, and subscribe. It ain't costing you a damn thing. And of course, I'm going to holler back at y'all later. Peace.